um, when I first, my first Sahaja encounter was in Taunton in 19, 1979, late October, November, I'm not sure when, but um, I was practicing TM at the time, and I had done for two years, and the previous year I had a nervous breakdown, and uh, I was treated by the National Health Villa, and then I was living in a house and someone just said, oh, there's a meditation meeting going, do you want to go? And I said, yeah, I'll go with that, you know. And I went to a friend's meeting house and walked in. And at the time, I was just go, just go, excuse me. But I was just going into my second yeah. nervous breakdown. <laughs> But anyway, let's get over that one. <laughs> I sat in the meeting and it was very, the energy was charged. The whole room just totally charged. And we did the, uh, the meditation, the realisation exercise. And I can remember this energy just going straight up the back of my spine and touching to my sastrara and then it just calmly went down like that. Well, I met Russell from Exeter at that meeting and I can't remember who else was there but um, I didn't get to another meeting because I ended up in a mental hospital. And I think I spent possibly six weeks in there. And when I came out, I had to move towns. And I went to my brother's, which is, which is further down the West Country. Mm -hmm. But um, I kept a photo of Sri Mataji, which I brought along with me. It's um, one of the blue ones with the uh, mantras on the bottom. Blue one with mantras at the Yeah, bottom. which you don't see very often, mm -hmm. not these days. And uh, I kept it by my bed. And um, I stopped doing TM because I realised that it was TM that was giving me the nervous breakdowns. And for the next few years, I never had any contact with uh, Sarja Yogis. I never had any numbers or anything. All I had was a photograph of Sri Mataji or the photo copy. And I used to meditate every now and then. And then one day, somebody walked into the flat you have to excuse this expression, but this was the words that he used. And he, he pointed at Sri Mataji's photo and he said, uh, that woman, they do meetings in Hampstead, in London. And this is when you were in the West Country with your yeah. brothers. And, uh, I asked him where, and he told me, and I thought, great. So I used to go to Hampstead from Minehead, which is a bit of a journey. <laughs> and uh, I then got some uh, information about meetings in Bristol, and it wasn't until years later that it actually dawned on me that Sri Mataji, because this, this man who came in, mm -hmm. he was with the Hare Krishnas, <laughs> right? And it was almost as if he'd been sent down 
Yes. To sort of point the direction. Yes. You know? And I firmly believe he was. Yes. But um, that's how we got into Sarja Yoga. Great. And that took about three years, I think. Three, three to four years before I actually recontacted. Because where I live, it's very isolated. Mm -hmm. And it's a bit of a journey. And then I uh, came to Bristol. I started going to the Bristol meetings where I met Alan and Christine right. and a few others. And then my first meeting where I actually first met Sri Mataji, I've been told it was in about 1983. And I've only just been told that today because I don't remember dates that too often. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it was in a school in London and I don't know what, what school it was, but um, I, was, I was in a minibus. I think Alan was driving. We got taken up there. And I've already told Alan and Christine this, but um, <laughs> when we got to the school, I went, just went in. And uh, Chris Greaves gave me a flower because he said, have you got anything for Shri Massage? And so I said, no. And he gave me this flower and I said, thank you. And uh, I went and sat down somewhere, and someone came along and said, oh, you knew? And I said, yeah. And they said, oh, you can't, you shouldn't really sit here, you should be sitting further back. So I said, fine. So I moved, went further back, and when I was sitting back, further back, someone else came along and said, <laughs> uh, are you new? And I went, yeah, you could say that, yeah. And they said, well, Perhaps you should be sitting a bit further forward. <laughs> <laughs> so I moved. <laughs> and eventually ended up in the second row from the front on the where the alley comes up through the centre of the chairs, you know, on a school hall, on the end, just sitting there not knowing what to expect. And uh I had recognised Shimataji within myself before I'd met her in person. Mm. And um, as she came in the hall and she was walking there, everybody was sort of like pushing forwards as they do, you know. And I was sort of pushed out into the into this aisle, right in the, right in the middle of it. And Shimataji came down and she was sort of taking flowers and saying hello to people and and she came up to me and because I'd been pushed I was sort of standing nowhere to go I was right and right and away and she, she came up and she was this far away from me and I gave her this flower and she said thank you and I looked into her eyes yeah. and all I could see was beauty Thanks, Dave. Um. Can I carry on with it? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, she went up onto the uh, up onto the stage. I can remember it was quite a funny thing. Was they'd given us some um, are those chickpeas? Yeah. 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 They'd given Miss Trimatigy a bowl, and she took one, and she ate it, and they hadn't been cooked. They were solid. And I can remember her going, oh. <laughs> and putting it back. But I was just sat, sat there looking at all the flowers and all everything. It was just getting brighter and brighter. And it was quite amazing, really, because I'm colour blind. And <laughs> I only see about three colours in a rainbow. Yeah? Mm -hmm. like blue, yellow, red. But I could start to see all these individual flowers, yeah. which to me was a, was a miracle in itself. You know, because that was sort of like I was thinking, like, perhaps this is how other people see the world. Well, you know, yeah. I don't know if anybody else is colour blind, but uh, that was an ex that was a an experience in itself. But anyway, at the end of that, we left, 
and I got into the back of the minibus and I was just sat there and we drove all the way back and it wasn't until we got to Bath that a thought came into my head all that way which is possibly an hour and a half there wasn't one thought my mind was just like that, silent. 